Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tamiya Tuesday. So hello, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining in. I am working on my comical grasshopper and I am moving on to parts bag B. Parts bag B is going to be some of the electronics set up, getting the servo centered, getting the horn and the servo saver put on. So I'm going to have to do all that off camera because it's just easier to do that. Once I get my servo centered, put together with the servo horn, I'll go ahead and I will move on to step six. The kit does come with a TBL E02 ESC. Now there's a little card in here, it actually says the motor is set to brushed, a brushed motor, which is fine, that's what this motor is, this is a brushed motor, so no big deal. It's always fun trying to figure out what wires you need to hook up to the motor. I'm also going to run this ESC in LiPo mode, so I want to make sure that I have the ESC adjusted to LiPo mode, and it's a simple adjustment using the directions. So I'm going to get this ESC, plug it into my Tactic receiver, which is very nice, it doesn't have any antenna. So this is perfect. And my Traxxas 2075 servo. To make things easier, the TBLE02 comes with, of course, the media connectors. Made myself a little jumper. Just easier. Been building a lot of Tamiya kits lately. And it's just easier to have a jumper instead of soldering on new Traxxas connectors. Alright, so here's where I'm at. I got the servo centered. I got the whole assembly in with the servo saver. These little uh, ball connectors. And I put together these two links. These two links are set to the 35mm spec that is in the manual. And these simply just pop onto the ball connectors. There. Done. And now it's just a couple pieces that have to fit onto the bottom of the servo. A couple spacers and this step will be finished. Now with these spacers, it does matter how big your servo is. So if it's more than eight millimeters from the whole screw point, say, above, then you're gonna wanna use the spacers with the flat side down. If it's less, like a slim profile, then you would have kind of this raised area that would be up against. Now I'm using the Traxxas, so I will have the flat side facing where the screws go in. All right, so now we're cooking with grease. We are gonna assemble kind of the main chassis of the body, if you will. The servo is gonna go in between, upside down. It's gonna fit in. And just gotta get everything oriented. But it looks like everything's gonna be held together with 10 BA3 screws. All right, so I got most of the screws on the sides here. What I have to do is get the front plate, which is F3. F3 is held on with four screws, so it's six screws to hold all this, four screws for the front piece. One note, when you're putting on the two halves, make sure your steering rods are coming out the little holes here. If they're not, you're going to take it apart or take the right ends and pop them back in in order to get them oriented right. Step eight has us doing the front arms. All right, so the arms are together, and I'm going to move on to step nine. And step nine is just like the rear gonna put on a couple arms get these lower arms put on they're actually going to be held in with this long kind of u-shaped rod here and step 10 has you putting together the front axles so I got my plastics cut out I'm gonna go ahead and use the axles here and just like the rear I'm not using bushings I'm gonna use bearings so I'll go into my bearing stash and take out some bearings. And I completed step 10. Kind of curious, it's kind of funny. A pin holds this uh, front axle in. But I got bearings throughout, so everything should spin good. And I'm going to move on to step 11, which is getting these onto the assembly here. And just like that, step 11 is done. Everything is in. This front little plastic piece holds the u-shaped uh, bar in everything's together everything's looking good the next step has me going into parts bag C but I'm out of time for today so if you like what you saw please click that like button don't forget to subscribe have a great day and I'll see y'all soon thanks for watching